Hey guys, Dane from Scoggin Dickey Part Center here with a tech tip. Uh, this is mainly regarding our DSX tuning supercharger lower pulleys. So this is actually for the LSA and LT uh, for your Camaro and CTSV. The Corvette has a little bit of a different fitment, uh, but we have all those products on our website for you guys to check out. We'll have those in the description uh, in the video down below. Uh, also on YouTube and stuff, it has a little bubble that pops up for you guys to click on. Uh, so these are some really nice pulleys. Uh, I've had uh, quite a few years of experience working with uh, specking out builds for customers uh, in previous jobs that, uh, you know, we have a lot of people that love to buy the, say, the ZL1 or CTSV, and they want to bump up a little, uh, bump up the boost a little bit. Uh, so there's a quite a few ways of being able to do this on a supercharger setup. But of course, as you understand, on a stock OEM uh, supercharger, the, uh, the supercharger pulley itself is usually really snug. Uh, if you don't know what you're doing, whenever you're going to change the upper supercharger pulley to a modular system, to where you can take that pulley off and on uh, with just a few bolts, uh, you can easily damage uh, the uh, snout on that supercharger and that ends up being a very costly fix. You end up either having to send it out to somebody to rebuild and repair it, and they make fun of you for being dumb about you know, using vice grips or whatever. Don't, don't look at me. <laughs> but uh, the, the other part is you end up either having to just buy a whole new snout, and that can also be cost prohibitive. And as years go on in this market, some of those parts are gonna be harder and harder to find and source, and you'll have to go a different route. So mainly this part is on the lower crank pulleys for you guys that are wanting to do something without having to crack open that supercharger. Uh, I'll get into blower speeds and stuff a little bit later in the video, but the main part of this is that we do have a wide variety of lower pulleys to be able to dial in the boost that you want out of your supercharger setup. So on our website and on DSX Tuning's website, the way that these are set up, there's different sizes. This one uh, is a uh, 230 millimeter supercharger, uh, the pulley for the, the lower crank, and this is a 250 millimeter. Uh, so for you guys that are like, what the heck is a kilometer? That's 9.06 inches and 9.84 inches. And so you guys can see that there's, I mean, it, it's, not a, it's not a huge difference, you know, this, this pulley can fit within the other one as far as the, the outer diameter is concerned. But uh, that, that minor change can dramatically change the blower speed and thus the boost uh, that your engine is going to be seeing. So if you guys are wanting to get a little bit of a bump in power uh, without cracking open that supercharger, this is a really nice option. You're gonna have to take off the OEM uh, lower crank pulley and install something that's more modular, like these ATI super dampers. Uh, really, it's just a good, good peace of mind. You've got a supercharger, you've got your, your belt and everything else. There's all sorts of fun harmonics and everything, the way that it works with the crank and, and your uh, bearings and everything else like that. We can get into that in a whole other series of videos. But the fun part of this is, is you can in, install this, you, it's really, straightforward. I mean, you, you pull the bolt out, it actually comes with another bolt that's designed for this pulley. Uh, this goes on and then this outer shell goes on as a drive setup. So this is really nice because you can go through and say you decide that you've got, you know, you got your 9.06 inch pulley and you're like, that's pretty good. And then six months later, you start jonesing for a little bit more po uh, power. And so, uh, you start going to the larger ones, uh, especially if you're still not wanting to crack open the blower, do any porting services or anything else like that. And so one of the other things you need to consider when you're going up in lower pulley sizes is that you have other pulleys around that crank pulley. And so you've got other parts of the accessory drive, tensioners, uh, AC pulleys, and everything else like that that you're going to have to be mindful of and a lot of the companies that offer these things will have information on, hey, you're gonna to need to have a relocation bracket for your tensioner, or you're gonna to have to notch parts of the brackets or you know, completely remove something. It really depends upon, one, the blower, uh, the, the pulley size that you go with, as well as the engine combination that you have. 
So this is also nice because these are uh, used on both the LSA and the LT. You have to use the right balancer. So one you have is set up for the LSA. This one is set up for the LT engine, so your LT4. Uh, so just be mindful of that. Whenever you're ordering this, we'll have drop downs for the sizes as well as options for the balancers. Uh, and so the other thing is be mindful of your blower speed. Uh, that's something that you know, you're going to have a lot of people. There's a lot of discussion, a lot of I mean, there, there's a lot of, uh, uh, sometimes it's good data, sometimes it's bad data, sometimes there's just no data and it's just, you know, uh, conjecture. But th we do have a lot of companies out there that do have charts that can help you understand what you're doing with your supercharger to find the boost target, your power target, as well as making sure that you're not getting into a blower speed that is dangerous for your blower which in turn can be dangerous for your engine. Uh, so, you know, a, a relatively inexpensive part can end up being a very costly mistake if you guys are starting to throw combinations together. So when you start going down in your pulley sizes on say, the, on the supercharger snout itself, if you've gone through and done a modular setup, you can do some fun things and trickery of, you know, going with the lower pulley as well and make some combinations to where you have different boost levels. Uh, but you can still get into that zone where, say, you either go really big on this or really small on the supercharger snout and you end up getting to a point where the supercharger speed gets so high that you end up having uh, damage and excessive wear on the bearings. The rotor pack can actually have issues all the way up to catastrophic failure. Uh, you've probably seen pictures all over the place, whether it be in CTSV groups, ZL1, uh, the, you've got your Z06 groups, also over in the Hellcat groups and stuff. You know, those guys, we've seen them all running blowers at excessive amounts, especially if you're trying to you know, maybe chase a stock uh, blower record or anything else like that. You guys understand the risks and you're taking, you're taking the whole build into your own hands. But if you're just running around as a daily driver or a relatively stock car that you maybe go to the track, you probably don't want to be running all the way up at the extremes because also on top of excessive blower uh, wear, the high RPM putting your blower into a dangerous level, you're also just pumping out ridiculous amounts of heat in the way that really it's like you've gotten to a point where you're starting to actually have very severe diminishing returns and sometimes even worse performance than what you would probably have at a different pulley combination. So we'll, we'll be sure to uh, have a list of uh, you know blower sizes or the pulley sizes as well as some information on that. Uh, you guys are going to want to make sure that you get quality belts for these. Uh, you know, we've seen all sorts of, of options that are out there. Uh, and if you have any questions about making a combination like this work on your ZL1 or your CTSV, as well as your Z06, uh, we have different options for this uh, that we, you know, we can absolutely help you out to be able to get you to your target as far as power is concerned. Uh, as well as give you a little bit of guidance and information on some other options you might have to be able to improve your blower uh, efficiency and performance without just going you know, completely over the top. Uh, or if you guys do want to go over the top, we can help you with that too. So also, if you're looking around for other information on uh, for your blower setups, say for your Hellcat or Ford, we do have guys here that uh, work on those and have plenty of experience on modifying and tuning those that they can help you out with getting some, comp uh, some components selected for that. But mainly, really, we just wanted to go over this, uh, give a shout out to DSX Tuning for some really nice pulley options that they have on top of all the other uh, components that we carry, uh, that we have on the shelf, including you know, auxiliary fuel pump systems, you got uh, flex fuel systems as well for a variety of vehicles. Uh, on top of uh, a lot of other things that uh, we should be seeing come to market here pretty quick. Uh, so we're, we're, we really enjoy seeing stuff like this because it makes your modifying of your own personal ride or modifying a customer vehicle uh, really a no-brainer. 
I mean, it's, it's kind of hard to mess this up. And the, uh, the overall quality of this is just awesome, as well as the, uh, the durability of these things. So, I mean, this is, this is made in America. I mean, you can't, you, you can't go wrong with that. So once again, thanks for stopping by for a quick little tech video, and we will see you guys next time for another one.